We already know that we need to create quickly the legal space so that technology feels comfortable here. For example, in Estonia, you can see on the streets uh, package delivery robots. Mm -hmm. They walk here. Our people are currently learning how to live in the world where uh, some of us are people, some of us are cars, and some of us are robots, which is a hugely valuable lesson. In the rest of the developed world, uh, people rely on digitalized services in the private sector. In Estonia, this is also true for the government. 99% of our services are delivered online. We have given our people digital passports, digital IDs, and they can use it for all kinds of services. Estonia might be a tiny country, but it's doing big things when it comes to bringing technology and government into lockstep. And they're calling it E-Estonia. One and two, and one and two. You're good. You think so? Yeah, you're natural. All right, one sentence. What is E-Estonia? I think it's an ecosystem where private and public sector both work together to provide these complex services for the people. You need both sectors to work together. It can't be only private sector or only government. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> So that sounds like the theory, right? Which no, is it's the... like it's a practical thing. Do you know how many tax lawyers are in Estonia? How many? <laughs> <laughs> or we can do internet voting and things like that. We basically solve... Internet voting? Yeah, voting over the internet. Huh. I can show you, like, how can I attract my children at school. Here's an app. You can see my son here against the class. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, top five, so not bad. And this is like a public school, like everyone... Yeah, it's public, yeah, I mean, it's, it's mandatory. Every school has to have a system. Since the days of the Soviet space program, Estonia has been a tech hub. And since their independence in 1991, technology has been baked into its institutions, especially education. In lots of Estonian schools, there are 3D printers. Really? Just to print out, this is easy. There are lots of designs, but they have to design by themselves something. Mm -hmm. And this is important, to be a creator, not only consumer. So these kids designed little shapes on a computer and now they're watching their shapes be printed on a 3D printer. This is an education that, frankly, it's hard not to be a little jealous of. They're even thinking about the bigger implications of algorithms and autonomous robots. Martin Kavetz is the country's digital advisor. We're the first country in the world that can operate our whole sovereignty from the cloud. In case of occupation, we run it from Luxembourg. Wow. If you look at e-Estonia and the digital society we have built, most fundamental innovations are not technological, but they are legal innovation. Mm -hmm. The idea that the digital identity is mandatory for all people, the idea that the digital signature is equal to the paper one, these are very simple, robust legal innovations. The secret to Estonia's future-proofing is the database of personal information the government safeguards. At birth, the government issues every citizen a unique ID number. But unlike a social security number, Estonians don't mind if theirs is made public. So we're at a delivery floor in Estonia where newborns are immediately plugged into the digital society as soon as they're born. <laughs> Have you guys picked out a name? Steven. Steven. Oh, hi. Hey, little Steven. So this is the ID number right here. This is yeah. Steven's number yeah. for life. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Yeah. And then that gets uploaded to the government database immediately? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Add newborn here. Right there, boom. Add yes. newborn. So you just right. hit a plus button, and that's how you mm -hmm. add a person to the country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so funny. It's hard to say if U.S. citizens would trust their government with all their secrets. But to Estonia's leadership, data is the future of personal identity. 
And so the basic role of government must shift to ensure data safety as much as physical safety. All governments say we protect the data you have uh, given to us, yet how they guarantee it. So if somebody from police is looking into my data, I will be notified and I can query why they did it. Really? Yes. And that guarantees me that I really, really, truly own my data. This is the way the uh, digital, transparent and honest state works. <laughs>